beaver. Beavers are large, semi-aquatic rodents of the temperate northern hemisphere. There are two extant species in the genus Castor, the North American beaver, Castor canadensis, and the Eurasian beaver, C. fiber. Beavers are the second largest living rodents after the capybaras. They have stout bodies with large heads, long chisel-like incisors, brown or gray fur, hand-like front feet, webbed back feet and flat, scaly tails. The Eurasian beaver has a more elongated skull with a more triangular nasal bone opening, lighter fur color and narrower tail. The animals can be found in a number of freshwater habitats, such as rivers, streams, lakes and ponds. They are herbivorous and consume tree bark, aquatic plants, grasses and sedges. Beavers build dams and lodges using tree branches, vegetation, rocks and mud, they chew down trees for building material. Dams impound water and lodges serve as shelters. Their infrastructure creates wetlands used by many other species, and because of their effect on other organisms in the ecosystem, they are considered a keystone species. Adult males and females live in monogamous pairs with their offspring. When they are old enough, the young will help their parents repair dams and lodges and may also help raise newly born offspring. Beavers are territorial and mark them using scent mounts made of mud, debris and castorium, a urine-based substance excreted through the beaver's castor sacs. Beavers can also recognize their kin by their anal gland secretions and are more likely to tolerate them as neighbors. Historically, beavers have been hunted for their fur, meat and castorium. Castorium has been used in medicine, perfume and food flavoring, while beaver pelts have been a major driver of the fur trade. Before protections began in the 19th and early 20th centuries, both species had been decimated by overhunting. Their populations have rebounded, and they are both listed as least concerned by the IUCN Red List of Mammals. In human culture, the beaver symbolizes industriousness and is the national animal of Canada. Characteristics and Adaptations Beavers are the second largest living rodents, after the capybaras. They have a head body length of 80 to 120 centimeters, with a 25 to 50 centimeters tail, a shoulder height of 30 to 60 centimeters and a weight of 11 to 30 kilogram. Males and females are almost identical externally. Their bodies are steamlined like marine mammals and their robust build allows them to pull heavy loads. A beaver coat has 12,000 to 23,000 hairs per square centimeter and functions to keep the animal warm, help it to float in water and to protect against the teeth and claws of predators. Guard hairs are 5 to 6 centimeters long and typically reddish brown, but can range from yellowish brown to nearly black, while the underfur is 2 to 3 centimeters long and dark gray. Beavers molt during the summer. Beavers have massive skulls adapted for withstanding the forces generated by their powerful chewing muscles. Their four chisel-shaped incisors grow continuously. The incisors outer enamel is very thick and colored orange due to the presence of iron compounds. The roots of the lower incisors extend throughout the length of the lower jaw. Beavers have one premolar and three molars on each side of the upper and lower jaws, 20 teeth in total. The molars have meandering ridges for grinding woody food. The eyes, ears and nostrils are arranged so that they can remain above water when the rest of the body submerges. The nostrils and ears have valves that close underwater while nictitating membranes cover the eyes. Unusual among mammals, the epiglottis is contained in the nasal cavity rather than the throat, preventing water from flowing into the larynx and trachea. In addition, the back of the tongue can rise and create a waterproof seal. A beaver's lips can close behind the incisors, allowing for chewing in water. The beaver's front feet are dexterous, allowing them to grasp and manipulate objects and food, with claws are adapted for digging. The hind feet are larger and have webbing between the toes and the second innermost toe of the hind foot has double nails which are used for grooming. Beavers can swim at 8 km per hour and only their webbed hind feet are used for propelling while the front feet are tucked under the chest. At the surface, the hind limbs thrust alternatively while underwater they do simultaneously. Beavers are awkward on land but can move quickly when frightened. They are capable of carrying objects while walking on their hind legs. The beaver's distinctive tail consists of two parts, a conical, muscular, hairy base, and the flat, scaly end that makes up two-thirds of the appendage. The tail has multiple functions. It provides support for the animal when it is grooming or gnawing down a tree and acts as a rudder when it is swimming and maneuvering underwater. It stores fat and has a countercurrent blood vessel system which allows the animal to lose heat in warm temperatures and retain heat in cold temperatures. 
Compared to many other rodents, the brain of a beaver has a smaller hypothalamus in relation to the cerebrum, this indicates a relatively advanced brain with higher intelligence. The cerebellum is well developed, giving the beaver coordination in three-dimensional space, such as underwater. The neocortex is dedicated mainly to touch and hearing. Touch is more advanced in the lips and hands than the whiskers and tail. Vision in the beaver is comparably poor, and the beaver eye is not as well adapted to seeing underwater as that of an otter. Beavers have an acute sense of smell, particularly important for sniffing out scent marks as well as detecting land predators. Beavers can hold their breath for as long as 15 minutes. However, they typically remain underwater for no more than 5 or 6 minutes. Dives usually last less than 30 seconds and are usually shallow, at less than 1 meter. Beaver tissue contains less myoglobin than fully aquatic mammals. When diving, their heart rate decreases to 60 beats per minute, around half its normal function, while blood flow to the brain increases. Beavers also have a high tolerance for carbon dioxide in their body. When surfacing, the animal can replace 75% of the air in its lungs, compared to 15% for a human. Ecology. Beavers live in freshwater ecosystems like rivers, streams, lakes and ponds. Water is the most important part of beaver habitat. They require a year-round supply for swimming, diving, floating logs, protection of lodge entrances and safety from land-dwelling predators. Beavers prefer to use slower-moving streams, typically with a gradient or steepness of 1%, though they have been recorded using streams with gradients as high as 15%. Beavers also prefer wider streams over narrower ones. They typically avoid areas with regular flooding and may abandon a location for years after a significant flood. Beavers prefer areas with flatter terrain and diverse vegetation close to the water. North American beavers colonize an area where trees are around 60 meters from the water but can harvest trees several hundred meters away. Beavers have also been recorded in mountainous areas. Dispersing beavers will use certain habitats temporarily before arriving at their final destinations. These include small streams, temporary swamps, ditches and even backyards. These sites lack important resources, so the animals do not remain there for long. Beavers have settled increasingly at or near human-made environments, including agricultural areas, suburbs, golf courses and even shopping malls. Beavers have an herbivorous and a generalist diet. During the spring and summer, they mainly feed on herbaceous plant material such as leaves, roots, herbs, ferns, grasses, sedges, water lilies, water shields, rushes and cattails. During the fall and winter, they eat more bark and cambium of woody plants. Tree and shrub species used include aspen, birch, oak, dogwood, willow and alder. Beavers usually live up to 10 years. Wolves, coyotes, foxes, lynxes, cougars and bears may prey upon them. Beavers are cautious on land and escape into the water when they sense a threat, their shelters providing them protection. The beaver works as an ecosystem engineer and keystone species as its activities can have a great impact on the landscape and biodiversity of an area. Next to humans, no other extant animal appears to do more to shape its environment. When building dams and lodges, beavers alter the paths of streams and rivers, which allow for the creation of extensive wetland habitats. Beaver dams have a tendency to raise the water table, both in mineral soil environments and in wetlands such as peatlands. In peatlands particularly, they can stabilize the often fluctuating water table, which controls the levels of both carbon and water. Thanks for watching.